Hey everybody, I'm Jason Creel and this is the Lawn Care Life. Today I want to talk to you about some of the big advertising players out there, Angie's List, Home Advisor, Thumbtack, and there's others I'm sure. But I want to talk to you about whether you should consider doing this in your lawn care business. I want to share you uh, with you a story about my experience. Let's get started. Well, we all are trying to get more customers for our lawn care business. I, I really don't like when somebody that's doing some sort of marketing, one of the lines they do when they're trying to sell you an advertising opportunity, like maybe they want you to pay to sponsor a little league baseball team or to be on a television screen at a restaurant or business, they'll say something like this. They'll say, well, don't you want to grow your business or don't you want to get more customers? You know, like, like if the answer is yes to that, then you would obviously pay us money to advertise for you. That, that's a very manipulative question and I don't really like it. But anyway, let me uh, tell you what happened to me recently. And I've got experience with Home Advisor. Obviously, they call a lot and want you to sell you their services. Uh, I've used Thumbtack personally and had some success with that and don't have any uh, negative feelings toward Thumbtack whatsoever. Um, but I had a call recently from Angie's List. I want to tell you about that interaction and uh, just give you my overall thoughts on how you should market your business as, in regards to uh, these three services and others and why, honestly, I don't recommend using them, though it uh, there may be some situations where it is warranted. So let me tell you what happened. So. Uh, I got a, a voicemail a few days ago and it was um, somebody and they said, hey, love to talk to you about your business. Give me a call. Well, most people don't just love to talk to me about my business. They're, they're trying to sell me something. So I, I didn't call them back because actually the same person had emailed me and uh, saw that they were from Angie's List and I knew, you know, they're wanting to sell me advertising on Angie's List. And that's their job. I, nothing, nothing against that. She called me, emailed me, no problem. She calls back the next day because I didn't reply to the email or, or voicemail. She calls back next day, I answer, and I recognize the name from the email in the previous voicemail, and I began talking with her. She says, I'm, you know, I'm with Angelis. I want to know, would you, you know, are you looking to grow your business? And of course, the answer to that is yes, but basically we got down to, would you want to advertise with Angelis? And I try not to deceive these people. I try not to lead them on to believe that I'm moderately interested. I would rather just somebody be very straightforward with me. If I give them a quote on their lawn care business, you know, don't say, well, let me think about it. You know, you never hear from them. Just say, no, I'm sorry, but I, I think we're gonna go with somebody else. So anyway, she, so I, when I'm talking to her, I'm, I made it pretty clear in, I think, relatively polite way that, no, this is not something I'm interested in. It's not how I choose to advertise my business. I told her, I, and she, you know, they asked, how, how do you advertise your business? I said, well, I think in a lot of business, it's best to do a very direct method of advertising, like something hanging on a person's door, talking to somebody, and obviously ranking well on the internet is very powerful. Um, but I'm, I'm not interested in, in uh, Angela. So we ended the conversation, no big deal. I think, that, you know, that was fine. Uh, well, then I got a call back the next day from the same person. And, and, and if I sound confused, I was confused. I was like, wait, you know, I, I made no hint about that I was moderately interested. But she says, hey, I, you know, I know we talked yesterday. I was just seeing if you had made up a decision uh, yet on what you was wanting to do. And I was like, yeah, I made up a decision. I'm, I'm not interested. I'm 0% I'm interested in doing it. And she says, well, why? And I said, well, let me just tell you. And I'm I think we're gonna have a conversation. I don't, I don't, I can talk to you about why, literally why I'm not against it. I said, here's, here's my theory. And this is um, what I'm wanting to get across is I, I personally want rely on the internet pretty heavily as far as marketing my business. I said, I want my lawn business to be number one on Google and on the other search engines when somebody searches for lawn care in my area. Who else wants to be number one on Google in my area? Home Advisor, Thumbtack, Angie's List. They want to be number one. I want to be number one. We're basically competitors. So what I mean, basically what they're asking me to do is would you pay me to compete against your local business, your own website, to rank ahead of you on Google? Now, don't, you know, hear me out, because I know some of you may disagree with me on this, and I want to hear your thoughts. If, let's just say they're number one, and you want to pay them to advertise for you and to list you as one of their companies, there's nothing wrong with that per se, but I think it's, you can't convince me that it's actually a better option than just ranking ahead of them on Google 
uh, alone, you know, because here's the deal. When I go to Angie's List, it tells me something like the top 10 lawn care companies in my area. Well, and so I'm supposed to pay you so that I can be on your top 10 list. Well, what if I can show up on the first page of Google for free? I mean, you know, through search engine optimization, things like that. What if that, you know, which is gonna be better? I'm one of 10 choices, or you go to my website, which has a, a video of me talking about my business, everything that, all the information I wanna put on there, and I'm the only option on that website. I don't say, welcome to my, you know, lawn care business, and if you don't like me, here's three of my other competitors. You should give them a call. I don't, there's none of that on there. It's, it's my company or nobody. Uh, now, they can obviously go back to Google and find some competitors, but anyway, then, so I explained that, and I and I was a little more direct the second time around because to be honest with you, the first time you call, okay, you called, that, that's fine, I answered, they, they got me with the local area code, you know, my own personal area code, so I answered, it's not some number from California, and, um, but the second time, after I told you no, now you're impeding on my time, okay, you inconvenienced me, and I was clear yesterday, so I'm a little bit more direct, I don't want to do it. And I said, honestly, I don't want to, you know, and she, I don't want to compete against you. I'd rather rank number one. She says, well, you are competing. We are competing against you. And that's why you need to pay us because we're competing against you. I said, well, I'd rather just rank ahead of you on Google. And she, and she says, uh, she told me that, and this is what I, this is what bothered me. This is where the conversation came to a abru abrupt halt. But she says, oh, she said, we will always outrank you on Google. She said, you don't know anything about marketing. And I said, okay. Uh, the conversation's over. I'm take me off your list. I'm not interested. Goodbye. Well, that just to me is very unprofessional. I mean, obviously she wasn't happy that she couldn't sell me, but to tell me that you will always outrank me on Google and that you know it, whatever. I mean, and so anyway, I do what I do what I think I should do at that point. I go to Google. You got to be careful when you're searching for your own lawn business. You might need to go what they call in, incognito on Google or log out. Um, so that it's not showing your past search results. Because if you, some people think, oh, I'm ranking number one on Google, and all it really is is you've clicked on your own website 12 times, so Google, you know, puts it first when you search for it, but you're not actually Google uh, number one when somebody else searches. So anyway, I, I go in there and I search for uh, lawn care in my city. And guess what? Who's number one? Home Advisor. It's not me. It's Home Advisor. They're number one. And, uh, Number two was one of my competitors. Now that, you know, I would like to be in that spot. I like to be number one, obviously. But I'd like to be at least the first local lawn business. Number three, I believe if I remember this correctly, was me. Actually, Home Advisor had the top two spots, which, which is, you know, whatever. So then you, then you had a, one of my competitors, then you had my business, then you had another local uh, business, and then you had Angie's List. So it made what, you know, of course she told me, we will always rank ahead of you on Google. You don't know nothing about marketing. And I thought, well, I guess always must start tomorrow because as of today, you're not ranked ahead of me. And it's not about that. It's just the point of, of the way you talk to me just bothered me. But, but anyway, uh, I, I think it, it, I'm not against paying some big company to, to advertise. You might pay Facebook to, to put you and show you in people's feed, or you might uh, pay Google to, to show up in the Google ads. And I've seen people who rank number one on Google, and they're also paying Google to put them up in the, the ad section of Google. So it's kind of like double dipping. There's a attorney in my area, and this is hilarious, people that live uh, around here know who I'm talking about, I'm sure, because he's, he's basically famous. But he is the billboard king of the world, okay, or at least our area, maybe not the world. But he will put a bill, I have a double decker billboard there with a billboard on top of a billboard. He'll buy them both. He'll put his, an exact same billboard. It'll be his picture and a, a personal injury attorney and then below it, same guy. And then on the back of it, it'll be him again. And then something, he's got so many billboards that some, he just plays games with. Like literally, he'll take his billboard and he'll put it upside down. It'll be the, the exact same ad upside down. He's just toying with people. Um, but so some people have first rank on Google and they're also paying to be the first you know, ad on Google. And they just got you know bigger budget than I do personally. But I, I, in my theory is, you know, put your investment in your own website. If you can rank well 
for on, on organic searches that's powerful and there's things to do that and you need to understand a little bit about search engine optimization and maybe pay somebody to do that for you to rank um, as opposed to paying these companies basically just selling out I'm not I'm just saying a direct correlation but if you think back to the the bailout days uh, when the economy was was really bad and you got uh, GM kind of took the money to the government bailout and Ford stood on their own and didn't take the money you know it's kind of like that am I gonna sell out and just give in to thumbtack and home advisor again it's not I'm not it's not bad to use these companies I'm not saying that I'm just saying I would love it better. I think a better option is I can rank ahead of them on my own. That was the one thing we did agree with on the phone conversation. We are competing against each other, uh, but I don't. I didn't agree with the rest that because we're competing, one that she's going to always rank ahead of me. And understand this: these algorithms change. Maybe right now Google's favoring the the bigger companies, the home advisors, the thumbtacks, the anxious list. But that may not always be the case. Google changes algorithm. They may um, make a switch back and start favoring some of the local companies. But as of today, I rank ahead of Angie's list. Why would I pay them money? to put me on a list of 10 other companies that's three spots down from me on Google, or maybe two spots, whatever it was. It just doesn't make any sense. Now, if you're starting out and you can't rank on Google, then you might need to look at how, how you can get on the first page by paying, whether through Google Ads or Thumbtack or Home Advisor. But those suggestions, I would probably put the money in Google Ads. You know, at least you're the one company showing up on the top there. It's your own website versus you being one of 10 choices on Angie's List or one of these other options. Or maybe, you know, some of them have five choices anyway let me hear your thoughts i'm jason creel go ahead and subscribe to the channel click the notification bell and i hope this video has been helpful got some resources available for you at lawncarelife.com if you want to check those out i'll talk to you later bye